Hello, beautiful souls. I wanted to share the latest information in regards to long COVID and those that have been vaxxed. I know it's a very sensitive topic. Many of you have been reaching out and saying, Elena, can you please post a short video in regards to some of the findings in your private practice and also what you're teaching and talking about in the holistic quantum healer. So a couple of things. Number one, one of the biggest misconceptions uh, that people have written to me and said, Elena, COVID has never been sequenced. This is actually false. And I'll say why it's false. I'll reference Dr. Sabine Hazan, who was the first physician with her own laboratory who sequenced it in the stool. So you definitely want to refer to the video interview that I posted last year. Okay, and that interview, there's a short clip on YouTube, but there is a link and I'll post a link that goes to Rumble because it's a very sensitive topic. So it's there. So this is the biggest misconception and also misinformation that is circulating around the globe that there is, this has never been sequenced. Okay, so false. Now, what are some of the things that I'm finding in my private practice? And this is what I've been sharing with my students and also with all of my clients. Again, if you're suffering from long COVID or you've been vaxxed and you're concerned you're having issues, it's absolutely necessary that you see your own physician or reach out to someone that can help you. So what are the thing, two things? Number one, your gut microbiome is absolutely 100% linked to the length of the chronic condition that you're suffering with. In this case, we're talking about COVID-19 and also the implications of what happens after the vaccine has been administered. And there is a direct link, but this is something Dr. Sabine Hazan talks about in the interview also in her, uh, some of her findings, and there's some published data on it already on her website. So I'll be putting the link to that below as well. But it's definitely correlated to my findings as well. And I'm using applied kinesiology to test every person. And what I'm finding is we have healthy, or we're supposed to have healthy microbiome. And there's so many different bacteria that are responsible for helping us metabolize hormones, also make vitamins in our body and support our overall well-being, our health, our mental status. So what happens is when there's lack of or low levels of bifidobacteria, of clostridium, it will absolutely create chaos in your entire system and impact the outcome of how you're feeling today. So absolutely, I will encourage you to get tested and find out what levels of bifidobacteria you have also all the other good bacteria that is supposed to support your immune system, your brain function, right? It, it is all about gut brain access. And then there's different things that you can do to rebuild the bifida bacteria. One of them, I'll put a link to one of the probiotics. Again, I cannot give you a list of all the different things that support it just because every single human being is as unique as a fingerprint. So that means there is really not one protocol that fixes everything for everybody. It's important that you get tested and the protocol that's created is specific for you, okay? Number two, what I'm finding is subfunctioning mitochondria. Mitochondria is the engine of every cell in your body. So it's important that your mitochondria is supported in order for your body to recover. So first thing we talked about is gut health. Second is mitochondria. I do have protocols that I've been finding really work well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can book a discovery call with me or a one hour wellness appointment. Also keep in mind that if you're a healthcare provider or you're absolutely passionate about health and well-being. I'm teaching this year again, September 29th through October 1st, Holistic Quantum Healer in Tampa, Florida class. It's only open to 
very small group of students. So if you apply right now, we still have a few spots left. Be well, take care of yourself, and until next time.